To multiply fractions, you need all fractions. Then you want to reduce if possible. And then you multiply straight across. Starting with our first problem, for x squared, I'll write that as x times x. And I'll bring everything else down. Now uh, we'll look at the 7 and the 14 here. The common factor is 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1. 14 divided by 7 is 2. And we're basically using the same process with these variables. x divided by x is 1, but I don't want to write it because it gets too cluttered. x divided by x is 1. It's going to be easier to just say x cancels x. And that's how I'll be saying it from now on. The 5 and the 15, 5 is our common factor. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 15 divided by 5 is 3. And now we simply multiply whatever is left. 1 times x times 1. We'll write that as x. 3 times 2 gives us 6. Turning our attention to the next problem. This y squared I'll write as y times y. Everything else will just come down. Now let's uh, deal with the variables first. You have a one y in a numerator. You have two of them down here in the denominator. Let's cancel the one that we have the least of. Y cancels y. And then x cancels x. Looking at the numbers now, um, 12 and 21 have a common factor of 3. 3 goes into 12 4 times. 3 goes into 21 7 times. Uh, 7 and 7 is pretty easy to spot. 7 goes into 7 once. 7 goes into 7 once. And we have 11 and 44 here. So 11 goes into 11 once. 11 goes into 44 four times. And 4 is certainly a common factor of itself. So that would be a 1 and a 1. It's an awful lot to look at here. What's left standing? In the numerator, we've got a 1, a 1, and a 1. So that's it for the numerator. The denominator, we've got a 4, a 1. There's a y in here. Easy to lose track of that. And a 1. So this simplifies to 1 over 4 y. For a cubed, I'll simply write a times a times a. That's that a. And then for b squared, we'll write that as b times b. And now a cancels a, b cancels b, 
And what do we have left standing? A squared times B. This is over a 1, but it's not proper to write that in simplest form. Um, you would have that, but then you would have to keep going and say a squared b is the simplified answer. Looking at the next problem y to the third is y times y times y x squared is x times x and now x cancels x we have y cancels y But in this case, we need a numerator. We can't just have air up here. So when x cancels x, it really goes into itself one time. So you have the same thing happen with the y. That's a 1. So 1 times 1 gives us 1 in the numerator. The denominator, we have y squared and x. So notice when 1 is in the denominator, it's not correct to leave it there. But when it's in the numerator, you have to have it. I'll solve number 5 the way I've done previously, but then I'll also describe a faster way to do this. Um, so let's see, we have... x and then y times y in the numerator. We have z times z times z in the denominator. We have z times z in the numerator and then x times x times x times y. And we'll say we have two y's up here but only one down here. So y cancels y. Uh, we have two z's and three z's. So two z's cancel two z's. And let's see. This x will cancel one of these. So what's left standing? We have a y in the numerator. We have a z and an x squared. In the denominator. But in effect you can use this method, but if you can learn to just subtract exponents, it will speed things up. Let's look at the z's. This is z times z. If I cancel both of these, I subtract 2 from 3, and I'm left with 1. So z to the first power. And look in our answer, we have z to the first power. Uh, let's look at the x's here. This is x to the first power. Whichever one is of a lesser power, that's the one that's going to be gone. So x to the first, subtract 1 from 3, and you're left with a 2 x squared, here's our x squared. And then with the y's, this is y to the first, 
So the one to the lower power, the one to the smaller power, is going to disappear. So y to the first is gone. Subtract 1 and you're left with y to the first in the numerator. That's exactly what we have here. I'm not going to write to the first power. It would be inefficient to always have to write that. Looking at number 7, uh, we don't have all fractions. We have a coefficient, a variable, but it's certainly not a fraction. So I'll rewrite that. 18a times a over 1. And that's a times a. Okay, so these two A's cancel those two A's. Uh, with the 18 and the 10, 2 is a common factor. 2 goes into 10 5 times. 2 goes into 18 9 times. We've simplified all that we can. Uh, 9 times 3 is 27. over 5 or this can be written as 5 and 2 fifths. If you want to try to do this in a slightly faster way we'll just put that over a 1 and notice you have two a's in the denominator, two a's in the numerator, so the a's cancel the a's. And then again, uh, two is a common factor. Two goes into ten five times. Two goes into eighteen nine times. So you would still get twenty-seven fifths and we rewrote that as a mixed number as well. Now our x to the third I'll write as x times x times x the y squared y times y I'll bring everything else down and we'll say x cancels x we have y cancels y 5 is a common factor 5 goes into 5 once goes into 20 four times With the 2 and the 18, 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 18 nine times. So we're left with x squared, a y, and a 4. So 4x squared y, and in the denominator, 9. I'll just show uh, subtracting exponents briefly. x to the first is gone. Subtract 1. You're left with x squared. See we have x squared. y to the first is gone. Subtract 1. You're left with y to the first. We have y to the first. Alright, finally this is the last one we'll do. 50R, we have to put that over a 1. R to the third. And let's see what we can simplify. 
5 goes into 5 once, 5 goes into 50 10 times. R cancels R. And that's all we can do here. So we have 4 times 10. This gives us 40. And in the denominator, we have R squared. And we could have just put this 50 over a 1, then cancel the R, subtract 1, we'd be left with R squared, and you can see that is what we ended up with in the denominator. The 5 and the 50 you would reduce as well. As always, if you would like some practice with these concepts, if you're at mrbformath.com, you can download a worksheet along with a detailed answer key.